this legislation will go a long way uh, to helping ensure that we have a vital horse industry moving forward. That's right, singer Lyle Lovett among hundreds of supporters at this dog and pony show on the Capitol lawn pushing slot machines at racetracks in Texas. It's just part of a bigger move to get gambling in the state and raise billions in the process. Welcome back to Session 11. A House committee is reviewing several bills from slot machines to bingo to Las Vegas style casinos. And another bill is waiting for review in a Senate committee. Our political reporter Josh Hinkle continues our newsmaker debate with State Representative Zerwas and Coleman to find out if this socially controversial idea has a better chance in a financially strapped session. There are impacts uh, that that come from gaming. You know, we think of going and gambling now as an excursion. So it's a fun thing. We go out of town, we go, you know, people go to the Bahamas, they go to, to you know, to Louisiana, you know, they go to Vegas. But a lot of folks have never had a casino in their backyard. And that's a different thing. My mother-in-law lived in Las Vegas uh, for 10 years. And I can tell you, it is not what people think it is when the local people play more than the people who come in from another destination. So I have some concerns about that. And yourself? Yeah, I, 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 I'm supportive of the VLTs and the horse tracks. Um, I have a, a lot of uh, people involved in the horse industry out in my district, uh, and they've made their voice uh, very well known to me. And uh, my conversations with people that are in the horse racing industry is that Unless we can really generate a higher purse out there, we're going to see really the horse industry leave the state of Texas. And, and I think that would be a tragedy, frankly. Um, and so if the VLTs at the horse track are the answers, uh, then, then I'm supportive of that. Uh, with casino gambling, I have some of the same reservations that Chairman Coleman has on this. I think that... Uh, uh, I know lots of people that enjoy, you know, some gaming periodically, and they enjoy part of the travel to a different place to enjoy that gaming. And so I'm, I'm, I'm not certain that it would bring the same spirit if we had it in our backyard. Uh, but I could also be convinced that there are certain parts of the state, like Galveston or mm -hmm. some of the others, that, that might benefit from that, where they are kind of destinations on the coastline, if you will, that people would be willing to travel to and to enjoy that. Um, people make the point is that there's a lot of Texas license plate at these casinos that are across, right across the border, and with that comes a substantial amount of, of tax revenue. Um, I think we just really need to have the discussion around, is, is this an industry and, uh, that we want to be part of our economy? Is it going to be a positive part of our economy? And let's have that discussion and debate and see where it all falls out. I think so, too. I think, I think we need to be careful in, in this current economic time that we're in is getting too caught up that this is going to be the panacea for our economic woes. Well, it won't be. So, so let's just talk about whether this is an industry that we think is good for the state. Well, if you have something to say about that debate or about the state budget crisis, let us know. Robert is standing by with our On Politics panel right now to field your questions. Just go to our special political site, onpolitics.com, and chat with us. Our budget breakdown and future transportation trouble for the state when Session 11 returns. Thank you.